If you've ever plugged in your quad, waited for GPS to get a lock, and it just sits there, zero satellites, no fix, nothing, even though it worked fine yesterday, or maybe your GPS works, but your video starts breaking up the moment it gets a lock. Now, that's not bad luck. That's RF interference. And it's far more common than most FPV pilots realise. I'll show you how GPS, VTX and Wi-Fi all sit rather awkwardly close together on the frequency spectrum, how they interfere with each other, and more importantly, how to fix it. Hello, and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. So what's really happening here? Well, FPV drones are like little bundles of microwave transmitters strapped to a big battery. Your video runs on 5.8 gigahertz. Your control link usually sits at 2.4 gigahertz or sometimes the 900 megahertz range. And your GPS receiver is quietly listening all the way down at 1.5 gigahertz, all bundled up within a few centimeters of each other. And that's a lot of radio energy packed into what is really a tiny little space with very little shielding and everything sharing the same power rails. So it's no wonder these systems sometimes trip over each other. Here's the key thing. Every transmitter gives off harmonics, which are unwanted frequencies of its main frequency. And those harmonics can land right on top of each other. We take GPS for example. Its primary frequency is 1.575 gigahertz. Multiply that by three and you get 4.725 gigahertz. Multiply that by four and you get 6.3 gigahertz. And that is right next door to the 5.8 gigahertz video band. So even if your VTX and GPS aren't on the same frequency, the harmonics can still overlap. The result, slower GPS locks, noisy video, or sometimes even both. Now, if we add Wi-Fi into the mix, that invisible enemy that most of us simply forget about, five gigahertz Wi-Fi lives right at the upper edge of the 5.8 gigahertz VTX band, which means if you're flying near houses, routers, or even your own phone's hotspot, your drone is sitting in a soup of digital noise. And it's not just the environment. Some goggles and DVRs have got built-in Wi-Fi modules that stay powered up even though you think they're turned off. So if your video suddenly starts breaking up whenever you fly near buildings or the moment you enable DVR Wi-Fi, that's exactly why. So what does all that interference actually look like and affect you when you're out flying? Sometimes the GPS just won't get a fix. Other times it locks fine and then drops out halfway through a flight for no obvious reason. Maybe your video looks perfect indoors, but the moment you take off outside, it just starts tearing or flickering. Or you notice your range just suddenly collapses, even though your antennas and firmware are all good. Now, when that happens, Quite often, it's not your gear, it's not your antenna, and it's not beta flight. It's simply two or more radio systems stepping on each other's toes, like trying to have a quiet chat in a noisy nightclub. Okay, so let's fix it. Here are my six top tips if you have those sort of problems. You need to keep your antennas as separate as possible. Put your GPS module as far from your VTX antenna as possible and put your GPS antenna on top of a plate or tail of a wing and your VTX at the rear or under the arms. Even a few centimeters between them can make a huge difference. You need to filter your power lines. Maybe add an RC filter or a ferrite ring on the VTX power lead. That kills high frequency noise before it can radiate outwards. And even if your VTX has a VBAT power input, use your flight controller filtered nine volt back output to power your VTX. It's nice and quiet with minimal noise. 
and shield things where possible. You can use copper foil, conductive paint, or even aluminium tape underneath the GPS mount to block VTX noise. But obviously don't cover the top. The GPS needs all that open sky. And you can try lowering your VTX power while you're getting a GPS lock. When you plug in, start your VTX at 25 milliwatts until the GPS locks, and then bump it up to whatever you're using, 400, 800 milliwatts. You'll usually find you get a fix twice as fast. And I've made a video on this before. You need to choose the right VTX channels. Avoid the very high end of 5.8 gigahertz. Channels around 5,900 megahertz sit directly inside the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. Stick to F2, which is 5760 MHz, or F4, which is 5800 MHz. They're quieter and usually in your antenna's sweet spot. Maybe try airplane mode everything. Seriously, your phone, your Wi-Fi, your DVR, turn them off. A 5 gigahertz hotspot next to your goggles can absolutely wreck your signal. So if your GPS never locks or your video goes fuzzy every time you get a solid 3D fix, don't blame Betaflight or your VTX just yet. It could well be RF interference and the fix could be as simple as a bit of separation or some shielding or maybe even a ferrite ring. Analog and digital systems both rely on clean signals and with everything packed into these quads these days, managing that noise is part of the build skills that you need to understand and learn. If this video helped or maybe you got you out of a fix, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and let me know in the comments what fixed your GPS lock issues or if you've got your own weird interference story. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.